let's move on to the next talk on long term safety of living kidney donation in an emerging economy may i invite the chairpersons for the session dr shashi bhushan dr jp tiwari and dr ram r over to the chairpersons good morning dr tiwari you can start good morning yeah yeah good morning sir i am dr jp tiwari professor at department of nephrology goa medical college first of all i like to thank the organizers and scientific committee especially dr vivek kutte and president professor jay prakash for giving us this opportunity to chair this session the topic uh, is the long term safety of living kidney donation in an emerging economy i request the speaker to go ahead with his presentation see brazvi there is the speaker and is just on the way uh, while we listen to the recorded portion he'll be here to answer questions thank you please go ahead with the talk he'll be here in a minute thank you to be asked to give this talk which is my very favorite topic long term yearly kidney donor follow up and uh, this is something which we have been doing for the last uh, 20 to 30 years because donor follow up has been the main strength of our transplantation living donors are the main stay of uh organ source of uh, organ donation in my uh, our in developed country uh, why uh, we uh, believe in donor follow up donor well being is equally important to establish the transplantation as a successful viable acceptable uh, option uh, in the society donors care is universal ethical and moral uh, responsibility as they make the biggest self sacrifice in absence of health facilities in developing country it becomes more important in developing country than anywhere else donor care and well being gives us the credibility in the society and uh, gives us courage to ask the public to come forward and donate the organ the salient feature of the donor are at the safety are based on uh, this amsterdam protocol selection and follow up of the donors follow up is on one to one basis all tests are uh, performed in the same lab for the recipient as well as donor preventive interventions is undertaken whenever required uh, for any clinical condition donors are in constant contact through their recipients who ensure a lifelong follow up our whole transplant program is based on life related donor and their follow up the team of follow up doctors comprise physicians surgeon pathologist radiologist dietitian psychiatrist and social medical worker they all are there at one time and they all jointly see the problem when we started transplant we used to see the recipient and donor together but more emphasis was on the recipient and uh, donors were not even seen that frequently till such time that uh, we did a cross sectional study and there we came to know it was not all that well as we thought and we knew 
that uh, uh, 5 percent had proteinuria more than 500, then about uh, uh, 7 percent had uh, keratin clearance less than 60. And this actually initiated the idea of having a uh, donor follow-up clinic. And uh, this is uh, how we presented the whole thing. It was published in live kidney donor follow-up in the dedicated in general of transplantation. This paper was published in general of transplantation. There we found that all was well, but not that well. There were certain problems. For example, 6.7% uh, uh, creatine clearance was uh, less than 60 per minute. Protein urea was in 5%. Hypertension was in 10%. Overweight in 28%. And 3% had developed diabetes. Following the same uh, uh, pattern of follow-up. This is our second follow-up data. Uh, Long-term safety of living kidney donation in a emerging economy. That was the topic. And 2,696 donors in regular follow-up for 27 years. We examined protein urea greater than 1000 milligram per 24 hours was in 1%. And uh, hypertension in 371 patient, which made about 13.7%. Uh, Diabetes was in 3.6%. Uh, regular follow-up uh, identified a new onset of diabetes and allowed uh, intervention that may have uh, prevented an ad ad adverse outcome. Six, that is 0.2% uh, developed uh, ESRD five to 17 years after a donation, 2.7%, that is uh, 10,000 persons. Now we have come to our present study and the periods, demographic, keratinic clearance, protein urea, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and diabetes, and Im impact of intervention and donor's outcome. These are the topics we are going to discuss in this. Age distribution, it has been uh, less than 30 and up to more than 60. This slide shows um, mean age and range after different years of follow-up. Starting with 49 years at more than 15 years to 62 at more than uh, 30 years, the maximum age of a donor at a last uh, follow-up was 90 years, 33%. We are older than 65 um, years at more than 30 years follow-up. Gender percentage of the donor was similar at different follow-up periods, except more than 30 years. Overall serial, creatine clearance, uh, pre-donation mean creatine uh, clearance was 109. It dropped to 81 at one year, post nephrectomy and then gradually it uh, rose to 86 at five years due to hyperfiltration. Then a gradual age-rated fall to 74 at 30 to 35 years. Keratin clearance at last uh, follow-up showed more than 90 
in 31 percent, 60 to 90 in 53 percent, and less than 45 in 4 percent. A mean follow-up period was 23.5 years in the last group of uh, less than 45 in 4 percent. Now we'll discuss protein urea in donors. The 24-hour unique protein excretion at last follow-up uh, was uh, now rather less than 150 in 69-70% and 80%, 18% had between 150 to 300, 9% had uh, 300 to 1,000, and 4% had more than uh, 1,000 grams. Serial 24 hours of protein excretion by years after nephrectomy, uh, if you see, then uh, it has come down to 102. And then it has gradually gone up 150 and then 157, and then it has been just maintaining that uh, same line almost. And then after 27 years, the protein excretion was 150. Post donation hypertension, 20% of the donors had developed hypertension with a mean age of 45 years and 8.4 years after nephrectomy. This figure is similar to 18% in adult Pakistani population and far less than 33% in population above 45 years. Uh, Post-donation diabetes and mellitus in 5.5% at a mean age of 49.8 years and 9.5 years after nephrectomy. Prevalence of diabetes in general population is 19%. Uh, Post-donation hyperlipidemia, uh, hypercholesteremia was in about 18% and hypertriglycemia was in 28%. The majority of the hyperlipidemic, they were managed with change in lifestyle and diet. Impact of intervention, impact of intervention on hypertension beyond 15 years, uh, regular follow-up and uh, treatment ensures management of uh, hypertension uh, where mean systolic was below 140, diastolic was uh, below 90, and 40% required lifestyle changes, 40% one drug, the rest 12% drug combinations. Impact of intervention on proteinuria, more than 150 milligram per 24 hours beyond 15 years. 16% had proteinuria, more than 50, the mean protein excretion remains below 300 milligram by using ACE inhibitor. The donor outcome at 15 years and beyond. Continuing with the complications or diseases after 15 years, 5% develop hypertension, diabetes was in 3%, ischemic heart disease in 2%, chronic liver disease in 4 patient malignancy in 4 psychological disorders in 7, 3, and uh, tuberculosis in 9, cerebrovascular accident in 1. Six donors died. The main reason was the malignancy, CLD and ischemic heart disease. In renal group, two donors develop any stage renal disease, chronic kidney disease in four donors, columnar, and stone disease in one patient. Two donors died 
due to end stage renal disease. Characteristic of the donors who develop end stage renal disease, um, both were females, presented late, 13 and 12 years after a donation. Both were transplanted. Both died seven and 11 years after transplantation due to infection. But overall, yes, RD mortality rate beyond 15 years in a living donor uh, has been uh, ESRD beyond 15 years, 0 0.87 and uh, 10,000 persons years and mortality beyond 15 years, 2.63 uh, and uh, 10,000 person years. Conclusions. Donor clinic has given confidence uh, to the community and enhanced living related donation. Factors present before donation have a, an important bearing on post donation course. Regular sequential follow up identifies risk factors and allows timely intervention to safeguard donor's health and renal function. In developing countries where infrastructure is scarce and 80% cannot afford medical facilities, it is mandatory that every donor is followed up free with dignity with a motto of till death do us part. At SIOT, the recipient are the best contact of donor as they attend regularly for their free care and medicine. Dr. Rao. Thank you, Professor Rizvi, for your exhaustive talk, which is very difficult to conduct in our part of the world because of a report on our follow up. So, this gives us an impression that what is the donor risk in future, and we should advise the people, donors, before taking them for transplantation. Now, this is open for questions and comments. Uh -huh. And sir, uh, have you seen that, especially the younger donor below 40 years of the type 2 diabetes end stage renal disease? Because we have seen that those donors who are non diabetic before 40 years and donating, they used to develop diabetes mellitus and chronic kidney disease in the future. What is your experience about that? I, I think I've, we haven't got <clears throat> such experience. And uh, the reason is that we have got very close follow-up and uh, preemptive uh, actions are taken for hand. For example, uh, we have got a diabetic clinic especially for transplanted patients and their, their diet habit, their weight and activity all you monitor. And it is all you monitor. So that's why uh, we had bad experience when we started in the beginning, but uh, we uh, were amazed to know that the donors were uh, not well fed but overfed by the family of being a person who was sacrificed for the family. So we had to uh, act strongly on that and we gave the same importance to donors as that of the secret. And more or less donors receiving clinic. So the thing is that donors given the same importance as recipient if not a good outcome of the donor's activity. And that is the main stay up for uh, transplantation, a source of organs are if there is no question, thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Riji, for excellent presentation. We come to the end of the session. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
Thank you, Dr. Rizvi. I also thank the chairpersons for chairing the session.